Audrey Hepburn. Please join us in listening to the remarkable story from the life and times of Michael Butter. In this podcast series, you'll be hearing stories from the primary themes of Michael Butler's life and memoirs. Politics, polo, theater, and love. Please subscribe via iTunes so you don't miss a single podcast. And we'll see you on the other side. I would uh, like to talk about a wonderful time in my life, a time when I was spending a good portion of my days and evenings with Audrey, Audrey Hepburn. It was a wonderfully exciting experience and one I will never forget. I met Audrey at my birthday hot ball in 1951. She was probably brought to the ball by the British Consul General because we were working pretty closely with them on various horse events. I have an interesting photo of uh, Audrey dancing with Budsey Cochran. Budsey was C.Z. Guest's brother, and he lived a great deal of his time in Chicago. We were very close friends. I saw quite a bit of him. I forget exactly when, but pretty soon after we uh, met, I had uh, actually uh, had a luncheon in New York City Why Audrey went off to Europe. And uh, she didn't come back from Europe because she was working over there until the summer of 1952. And she arrived in August. And we used to spend a lot of time on the weekends out in Long Island, a wonderful private club called the Creek Club. And uh, it was just a nice thing to get out of New York City during that time. In the fall, we went up to uh, Buffalo to the hunt ball and horse show with the Wixers who were quite active in the horse world up in that part. And then we went on to Oak Brook and went from there in 53, we went over to uh, have luncheon with Kitty and Mervyn Leroy, who put on a luncheon with Sid Cherise, Edgar and Mrs. Bergen, June Allison and Bonnie Green, and several others in Los Angeles. It's a very pleasant time. And we went that summer on from there uh, to Mexico, where we stayed at the Cocora House. I have an interesting photograph of the garden doors for the Cocora Mansion. It was a, quite an incredible place. I had talked to Roger Stevens about uh, Audrey and had mentioned they were working on a musical called On Dean. And so Audrey was given the bid to go and be an On Dean, uh, which started to uh, have rehearsals in the fall of 53. Just so anything you can think or say or have heard on a positive side about Audrey is probably not an exaggeration. It's probably under-exaggerated. She is one of the loveliest human beings I've ever known in my life. She was great fun, very bright, very intelligent, and that in some ways might have been a major problem for us because I was uh, basically a kid from the Middle West in my early 20s when this went on. So Audrey was a very sophisticated, bright, European-educated young lady from a very good family. And uh, as a consequence, it later on proved to be very difficult for me because Audrey became very deeply involved with her leading man in Ondine and ultimately married him. So I lost the big moment of my life at that time. I didn't see anything of Audrey for a long time until in the early 90s. I saw her 89, 90, something like that. I ran into her in Chicago 
and we had dinner together. And, oh, God, what a pleasant, wonderful evening it was. I really enjoyed seeing her. I did not realize at the time that she was as ill as she was. But anyway, we've all lost her, and uh, we can just wish her and her children well. Please subscribe via iTunes so you don't miss a single podcast, and we'll see you on the other side.